The regional business plan gives us a roadmap for how we're going to grow jobs and how we're going to get our economy back started. It identifies four different industry sectors that have grown throughout this difficult time and are going to continue to grow in the future as best we can tell. Those industry clusters are applied medicine and human performance, high-tech electronics and instruments, marine and environmental activities, and business financial and data services. I'm involved with the Regional Business Plan for Tampa Bay because it is the um, opportunity to take the types of technology that are being developed in facilities like Moat Marine and other facilities around the region and get that information implemented into the private sector. I mean, the goal of our research, we're an applied research laboratory, and the goal of our research is to take that and help grow businesses in Florida. Well, the work that's being done at Moat is a integral part of the marine and environmental um, activities sector because it is heavily focused on developing two areas that are high priority within the plan. One is aquaculture, inland aquaculture technologies. And we're working on that here at this facility where we are producing a wide range of marine and freshwater fishes in tanks far away from the ocean. And so this is the types of technology that we're hoping to develop throughout the region. And the second area that's really an important area that's linked in is the um, alternative energy sector, which is something that we don't have in place here yet, but it's going to be a critical component to making this successful. Well, PACE is a financing system that allows people to, to spread the cost of making their buildings efficient over about a 20-year timeline uh, so that from the first year uh, they, they actually come out cash ahead and making their buildings efficient. It's a nothing down process it's, and it's actually paid as part of the property tax bill. That's voluntary, only those who want to participate. But the communities that have done that have been able to ramp up this spending rather dramatically while saving the, the people who took advantage of it money from the first year. The first thing that the government should be doing is making sure that their infrastructure is dramatically more efficient than it was in terms of energy uh, than it was, say, 10 years ago. And because there's lots of money to be saved, uh, which also creates jobs. But the other, the other critical thing is that we really got to pass a PACE financing system because it's PACE that allows us to ramp this up so that uh, businesses across our communities can, can make their buildings and their infrastructure dramatically more efficient. In Sarasota County, we're one of the oldest, we are the oldest county in the country. Our median age is 55 and a half years old. Some people would look at that as a negative. For us, we look at it as a tremendous asset in Sarasota County. And we're about leveraging our assets for economic development and economic diversity. So the, the Institute um, is about job creation. We'll be a catalyst to bring corporations, different companies throughout the United States and even international uh, to Sarasota County to convene on how to handle the uh, future of our aging population. Every community in this country has financial incentives. Every community has benefits and bonuses to offer to new companies, new industry that wants to come into their area. But there's something that's different and unique about Hillsborough County. And it's not just financial incentives. It's the working relationship that the business community that the governments have here in our area. And that makes us different. That makes us stand out. You'll find it's truly regional. There are no borders. There is no turf when it comes to serving the citizens, finding out what's best and what's right so that we can draw in those businesses. It's exciting. If we're going to get this economy back started, we all need to know what role we can provide to support these businesses to grow. So leaders from around Tampa Bay have to understand the plan and also understand the benefits to them and their organizations and what they can do to help get the economy back started.